back. The 15th annual Belgard Flower and Garden Show is in full bloom, and we're giving you the dirt on this must-see event. It's that time of year we've all been anxiously waiting for. Signs that spring is finally around the corner. Well, this year, spring has never looked so good at the 2009 Bell Guard Flower and Garden Show. Chicago's Navy Pier has once again been magnificently transformed into a world where the feel and smells of springtime will take your breath away. But before this wonderful event kicked off, we took our cameras for an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at this Windy City Garden. We're here with Marilyn Gardner, the GM of Navy Pier. Tell me a little bit about the Flower and Garden Show. Well, we're thrilled to have the Chicago Flower and Garden Show back at Navy Pier, and what a great way to kick off spring. It's really a great way for people to come out and, you know, really enjoy the winter, but see, get a little taste of what's to come. The Chicago Flower and Garden Show is for everyone. People who live in the city, who have very small gardens, There's, say a balcony garden, there will be great tips and examples of things that you can do to make the best of the small spaces, but then there are the big expanse gardens for the suburbanites who have a lot of room to make luxurious gardens. It's a great, great show for kids, a great place to come to show kids what gardening is all about. One thing I love about the Flower and Garden Show is that a lot of these plants are giving back to the city, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. After the show concludes, a lot of the plants and the trees go to the Chicago Park District and other partners, the Garfield Conservatory, and other places really to help beautify the city even further. We have a special $14 parking rate here at Navy Pier throughout Flower and Garden Show. So it really makes it a reasonable visit. You come down to the show, bring your whole family, bring your friends, and it's a great way to spend a day. Tony Abrascato of the, who's the show director of the Chicago Flower and Garden Show this year. Tell me about this. It's so exciting. Well, as you know, we're so excited to be back in Chicago. We're excited to be back at Navy Pier. We have 25 different gardens that are being built out by 25 independent landscape design and architect uh, firms throughout the Chicago area and suburbs. So tell me a little bit what it takes. How many people are involved here? Right now, we probably have somewhere between 250 and 300 people that are working building out these gardens. How long does this take you to prepare for this one week? Actually, all morning I've been working on next year's show really? already. So, so we're trying to get it to where we're actually planning two to three years in advance. How many years has this been going on? This is really the 15th year of the last incarnation of this show, but it's been going on for over 100 years in different locations and in different ways and means. So tell me, what's different about this year? What's really exciting is we've created a cultural midway to the show. We've paired up Chicago's best known cultural institutions with some of the top landscape designers and architects in the city. So we have Lincoln Park Zoo, the Museum of Science and Industry, the Shedd Aquarium, the Chicago Park District, and the National Museum of Mexican Art all joining together to build gardens that reflect what they're doing at their institution. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, it's amazing. Tell me why this might be a good place to bring a family. Well, a lot of different reasons. One is you can see if you've got your own yard and what you've put together. We've also developed a children's activity garden this year, and so we've got programming going on every single day where kids can come in and they can make a terrarium, they can make bird feeders, they can come in and uh, we've got a group coming in with insects and worms. We've got somebody coming in with a bat exhibit so the kids will be able to come in, see different animals that are coming through. So it's a lot to do for your family. We're open from 10 to 8 daily, and then on Sundays we're open until 6. So what we've been trying to do is get people to come in after work. You're at the office all day long. Come in here, unwind, see spring, and maybe have a drink, have some dinner, and uh, go home. We've shown you some of the beauty, but there's nothing like seeing this miraculous display for yourself. So come on out to the Belgard Flower and Garden Show at Navy Pier, now until March 15th. setting. It gets me so excited for spring.